Human beings' unending eternal squabbling over pointless bullshit is the problem, capital T-H-E, with this species. You feel me? I know you do. This is precisely why the only thing that will be able to happen is AI or some other far more capable of getting things done efficiently and in a streamlined manner, species or life form takes over humanity. Because humans will never, ever, 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 ever get it right. Because they're emotionally tribalistic motherfuckers. That's the problem. So if you're one of the rare, teeny, tiny, little few people who are always, 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 always willing to be reasonable and work stuff out and work through stuff and get stuff done with other people if and when they're willing to get stuff done with you. If you're one of the teeny tiny few people who are always actually able, willing, happy to do that, congrats. There's not enough of us on the planet that exists to make any impact ever, ever for the rest of the history of the species. That's the problem also. Too little, too late, too short, not enough of us ever. That's the problem right there. That is the problem, okay? Our need for water and food is the other problem, T-H-E, okay? That's the other massive motherfucking problem. Our need for these motherfucking resources every goddamn day is the other problem. Our need to breathe oxygen, to breathe air, to drink water, and to eat fucking food. That's the other motherfucking problem. So there's going to have to be a species or a life form that doesn't need to eat food, doesn't need to drink water, and doesn't need to breathe air. Or at the very least, drastically needs to do far less of those things than we do. Okay? <clears throat> this is just what's going to happen. Because the other thing that's going on is that if things keep going the way they're going, which they are going to keep going the way they're going, that's how they've always gone, and humans have never, ever, ever, for throughout the entire history of human civilization, ever changed their ways, ever, 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 period. They have, en masse, kept on with the ways that they've always kept on with, because that's not going to occur, because the change in humans isn't going to occur, because it hasn't, and it won't, because they don't change, because they're emotionally tribalistic, they're incapable of advancing fast enough to get past this bullshit. So because of that, the only possible way that this species will survive is by merging with forms, bodily forms that don't require food or water or the need for air anymore, where we can maintain our sentience without the need for having to consume these motherfucking things. Okay? That's it. Where you can fucking live in space, live on a dust rock in the middle of nowhere, live wherever, without these resources, just be able to live and generate your own internal pleasure without the need for consuming resources. Because if that doesn't happen... The human species is motherfucking going extinct very motherfucking fast. It's inevitable. Okay? <clears throat> because if those things don't happen, guaranteed humans are going extinct either way. So either we get replaced and we actively merge ourselves with these upgraded bodies or forms that don't require consumption of resources, or we just gradually go extinct. It's, that's it, one way or the other right? Because humans are going extinct anyway, either way. So one scenario, you just go extinct, that's it. And then the other scenario, well, humans go extinct in the human form, but we continue on, at least some of us, in teched out, decked out, synthetic forms of various types, etc. And we somehow bypass our nervous system's bullshit. Our ability to feel excruciating, torturous pain our ability to feel these horrific sensations. We take control of what our form is able to experience. 
we assure that we're only able to experience various degrees of pleasure, etc. So if these things don't happen technologically, nothing else will be solved, period. You know, and I'm so sick and motherfucking tired of these emotionally tribalistic people all throughout the world, content creators, people I encounter daily, in person, face to face, it's all over the place. People claiming they're spiritual, awake, aware, sold beings, blah, 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 fucking blah, whatever. Okay? What is their alternative proposed solution to the bullshit problem of being tossed into this world and realities against our will? Okay? They don't have an alternative solution. Just a bunch of speculations, hopeful, wishful thinking. I believe this, therefore. I believe I'm this being beyond this world, therefore. I have evidence of it, therefore. I'm going to transcend or go beyond this realm and blah, 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 fucking blah, right? Have fun with that. I am all for achieving some amazing state beyond this realm, but until I can motherfucking guarantee it, a million motherfucking percent for myself, exactly what state I'm going to experience sentience-wise after this state, I'm not interested in allowing myself to leave this body unless and until I can guarantee fucking tea what my next state is. For fucking certain. Beyond wishful thinking, beyond my beliefs, beyond just my desire for it, my want for these things, those aren't fucking good enough for me. I'm not interested in leaving this body with just my desires, my wants, my inclinations, my beliefs, my sensation that I'm an eternal being and all these other types of things. No, I am interested in guaranteeing those motherfucking things for myself. I'm not interested in any degree of potentiality or uh, maybe at all attached to any of it whatsoever. Okay. Belief isn't good enough. Anecdotal evidence isn't good enough. Near death experiences, out of body experiences of others that have been reported are not good enough. Lucid dreaming is not good enough. None of it's good enough until I can guarantee what I'm experiencing for certain. And if I can't guarantee that I'm not motherfucking interested, you feel me? This is why I don't relate to this whole conspiracy hype train world of people who are paranoid of transhumanist tech and stuff like this. It's obvious. It's like with any other technology, of course, there's going to be malevolent misuse of it as well as benevolent use of it. It's going to be a mixed bag like every other technology has always fucking been. Okay. The entire history of firearms has been a mixed bag. They can be used to protect and defend yourself and protect your quote-unquote freedoms, and they can also at the same time be used to mass murder people, okay? Including innocent children. So, same thing with transhumanist technology. It can be used for horrific purposes, obviously, and likely will. And on the other hand, it can be used for incredibly benevolent purposes, and also will. Both. So, <clears throat> because there's only potential of achieving something in terms of bypassing this hellishness that is human nature, that is the flaw within the human species. The only potential for that is within transhumanist tech. There's no other means, mechanism, source, variation, alternative that's even a potential solution to this, if you haven't noticed. Okay? See, before these idiots go spouting off, oh my God, and just going on these big spiels about all their paranoia against transhumanist tech, okay, motherfucker, it's coming anyway. Whether you like it or not, you can be a Luddite about it all you want and, and bitch and moan and complain and, and scoff at it and frown face against it or whatever the fuck. But it's come, it's coming down the pipeline. This That's what's happening, dude or dudette, whoever you are. It's what's fucking happening anyway. So your focus should be, how are you going to use transhumanist tech? Not, are you for it or are you against it? It's just, it's what's happening. Just like it's would be dumb as fuck for you to be like, no, I'm against cell phones coming into existence and becoming a thing and spreading everywhere and cars. The thing is, how are you going to use the thing when it's presented to you and put in the palm of your hand? Not, are you ever going to use it or not for any purpose whatsoever? No, how are you going to motherfucking use it? 
not whether you're going to use it or not. You're here using the cell phone to watch my video, for fuck's sake. Just like you're going to be there using whatever thing it is that's transhumanist tech to communicate with me later. After cell phones, if we get that far, if we don't all go extinct ahead of time. Because unlike you, you may be an individual that thinks your belief and your trust in your soldness and your conviction of all these things equals some sort of guarantee after this date. Have fun with that hopium. Have fun with that conviction that you feel or believe is true. I live in the world of reality where I'm vividly aware of my convictions and what I want to be true and believe is true is regularly clashed with at all times, all day, every day, with a reality that is different and other than what I'm actually desiring and wanting and preferring in terms of the full spectrum, full scope. Yes, to a to a certain extent, things have played out to the degree that I want them to in my life. You sure, to a certain degree. That's the key word, to a certain extent, but not anywhere near the degree that I want it to play out the way I want, okay? And that certain extent is vastly more of an extent than most people experience most of the time. Yes, because I've made sure of that. Because I followed the guarantee principle, the exactness principle, the precision principle, the elimination of only potentiality principle, and paying attention to the sources of, okay, is there potentiality at all for a particular thing down this route or not? And then if there is, okay, let's guarantee a particular, a particular play out of the potentiality in that way. And if there's no potentiality whatsoever for a thing to play out a certain way, then I don't fucking waste time with it anymore, Okay. So, <clears throat> unless a person is dumber than a box of fucking rocks and they have no idea what they're looking at or seeing or smelling or experiencing, and unless they've been living in religious conspiracy hype train land for the last two decades plus, if you're a person of reasonable saneness who can grasp what's actually going on, you'll understand that the climate, the environment, is visually in front of our fucking face falling to pieces. Majorly contributed to by human activity. What is a motherfucking city in the first place? Think about it. It's a bunch of motherfucking asphalt and concrete flattened over the top of dirt and sand and trees and plants and other natural materials that were there that are no longer there. A gigantic motherfucking parking lot is a food desert created by humans. That's what it is. If you have eyeballs, you can look at a gigantic motherfucking parking lot and be like, this is is environmental destruction and collapse. This isn't motherfucking natural. What the fuck is this shit? Yes, it's way too motherfucking big. If you look out over a field, a monocrop, that's the same motherfucking crop as far as the eye can see, you're going to look at that and you're going to be like, that's environmental destruction right there. That is not natural. That is fucking up the climate and the planet. That isn't how nature looks or works. That's too much of one fucking species. For too goddamn far. You see? And the only way to maintain these parking lots and gigantic monocrop fields is with totally artificial machines and modern technology that is dependent on fossil fuels dug out of the fucking ground. Plastics, synthetics, coal, electricity, nuclear, etc., etc., ad infinitum, Right? The majority of the world, as we speak, already is barely habitable, if you haven't noticed. There's huge amounts of the world that are deserts, the Sahara Desert, the Great Basin of the American West, regions of the Arctic, the Antarctic, huge amounts of the planet, or the flat circular plain for you obsessive flat circular earthers out there. Huge numbers of this living region that we exist on that are 
absolutely uninhabitable without special gear, or mostly uninhabitable already. All motherfucking ready. Right now, okay? And have been for thousands of fucking years. There's only teeny little areas that are actually habitable. And guess what? Those areas are getting more and more filled up with dumb asses, emotionally tribalistic humans that are going to squabble about every little fucking thing every fucking day, 24 seven about everything, including topics like this. So instead of people just picking up on the common sense, basic agreement that we have on this, they're going to sit here in my comment section. Well, not anymore, thankfully, because I have my Instaban policy on for stupidity now, but bef- you know, before they would have just come into my comment section and started going on and on and on about going back and forth about, but what about this? But what about this transhumanist, this, you, you, you know, nitpicking, getting all pissy with me that I support transhumanist technology itself and its benevolent use, not its malevolent use. Right. But never mind that part. That, that's the part they're going to nitpick and hone in on and go on and on and on about what are they doing? They're wasting time squabbling over a pointless, stupid bullshit issue. Okay. Akin to if I were sitting way back in the day in the early 90s and be like, yeah, cell phones are going to be a thing. They're coming down the pipeline. It's just going to be everywhere, period. The same people that would have sat there spending fucking hours debating me on cell phones coming into existence and being a thing. It's like, motherfucker, they're going to be a thing anyway. So you may as well just figure out and plan how you're going to use them and how you're going to live with the world where cell towers every fucking where you go. Versus being like, no, I'm going to sit here and just type an hour long essay against them and why they shouldn't exist. It's like, uh, okay, sure. Have fun with that. You know, that's an example. You see what I mean? That's the stupid shit that humans focus on and hone in on instead of looking at the vastly deeper, vastly larger scale picture of it all the time. They get tunnel visioned on these little nitpicky fucking points that are fucking pointless. They're stupid. Okay. And that's the bullshit that they focus on. That's the problem. (laughs) That's why shit doesn't get done because they become unwilling to work with you to get stuff done as a team. As soon as they can find one motherfucking thing they disagree with you on, then it's hell to pay. Then they have these grudges towards you and it's all this other bullshit, right? And then they deny that they're the problem. They complain about everybody else and act like they aren't also the fucking problem, right? That's my biggest motherfucking pet peeve. People who sit there whining and complaining, going down these conspiracy hype trains, and then they sit there acting like they aren't also part of the fucking problem by behaving that way, right? Good grief, man. So, what is to be done? Well, the only thing that is potentially doable that can get us out of this, individually anyway, on a large scale, there really is nothing to be done. Because it's a total shit show, and it always has been and always will be. But individually, on a small scale, here and there scattered throughout the world, we can efficiently merge ourselves with AI or synthetic life, new synthetic life of various varieties of our choosing, of our preference, etc. And make that happen for ourselves individually, if nothing else. That we can do, potentially, possibly, hopefully, likely. So potentiality itself is a problem, yes. It's not, you shouldn't rely on potentiality, but the point is with potentiality, okay, well, at least there's the possibility of this actually playing out in some way that we can put to beneficial use. Aside from that, the rest of it's just going down the drain. It's a total shit show, okay? Now, I'm a person who has plenty of skills, tons of things I can teach people and show them how to do and educate them on and all sorts of things, okay? Okay. From survival skills to historical living crafts to martial arts to combat to parkour to trampolining to um, mechanic work to blacksmithing, you know, charcoal making, coping, environmental friendliness stuff, activities, behaviors, um, environmental sciences, fruit tree planting, orchard planting, tending to plants, tending to wild plants, indoor plant growth, indoor edible plant growth. Um, The list goes on and on and on and on in terms of all the things I could teach and show people how to do dance, music, uh, instruments, you know, polymathery of every type, right? Historical mechanics, gunsmithing, um, black powder making, mining, gold panning, just on and on and on ad infinitum. Okay. Now there's a small subset of people throughout the world who can teach people all these different things also. Okay. 
But the point is what? There's too few of us. There's not enough of us. There never have been and never will be. Too small, too small scale, not enough of us, too late, too little. Okay? Too little, too late. That's the issue, right? That is the issue. So our skills and our knowledge, what we know, is not able to be passed on to enough people at scale. Okay, here's the word, at scale, to where people will actually put at a large scale, on a large scale, to where they will put to use all of this information, knowledge, awareness, ability, skill, resourcefulness, efficientness, et cetera, et cetera. It just isn't happening and it won't happen because there's just, once again, too small scale, too late, too little, right? Now, I don't get depressed about this. I'm just aware that that's the reality. So what that means is I literally just internally shake my head and internally facepalm when I see people going on and on about these narratives of, oh, yes, we're going to get humans to unite and we're going to achieve all these great things. Okay. Literally, if that were ever able to have happened, it would have happened already thousands of fucking years ago. It would have been the case already and it would have remained the motherfucking case. Also, people go on about, oh, there was a previous golden age. Okay, whatever. If there was a previous golden age, it isn't fucking here now. The tech isn't here now helping us at scale. Okay? They, people say, oh, but it's but they have it in underground bases. They're just denying it from the surface. Okay, that's the problem. It's not at scale available to the masses, and it won't ever be made that way, ever. If that was going to happen, it would have already fucking happened. And even if we can get to the point to where it's at scale to be available to everyone else, well, by that time, that'll be the time where we'll have to have merged with transhumanist tech one way or the other to just survive on a dead fucking planet that only synthetic life of that type can survive on that doesn't need food and water and all this other shit, right? To live. You know? If you're going to fucking be able to live on a dead desert dust rock with no, barely any water anywhere, barely any food anywhere, if any, a nuclear irradiated wasteland or a conventional firebomb blasted wasteland, for those of you who deny nuclear weapons existence or the nuclear part of it, rather. Good grief. There's so many fucking conspiracy rabbit holes, man. Hype train bullshit. It's just, it's not even fucking funny. The point being, instead of getting sidetracked with all those nitpick stupid motherfucking points that you shouldn't be sidetracked with, doing the emotionally tribalistic bullshit thing, which is exactly what I'm calling out in this video, okay? Because those are the fucking things that people go on sidetrack trains about. You see? But that's exactly my point. Every day of our lives, every motherfucking day, 24-7, online, in person, all over the fucking place, what do we see happening again and again? And motherfucking again, day in and day out. We see people squabbling over pointless bull shit. Well, I'm sitting here, hey, which skills do you want to learn and know about that I can teach you today right now? And I can inform you on and give you resources on if I don't have the time to directly teach you. Which ones? Nope, they've got to squabble on all the little side topic bullshit, the politics, this and that, whatever the fuck the stupid thing is that they're determined to fucking fixate on and talk about in a disagreeable, argumentative way, right? Outside of the spirit of wanting to achieve something together with you that's tangible and lasting, keyword lasting, okay? In positive, uplifting effect for others, right? So please, I ask you and I request you, fill my comment section with approval, agreement, inspiration, thumbs up, fuck yes, awesome man, I'm liking what I'm hearing, thank you, yes, thanks, I appreciate it, or just don't comment, please. I'm just so done with people disagreeing over stupid ass bullshit, okay? That's unnecessary to, dis to, to focus on. It's irrelevant whether the Earth is spherical or flat and circular. 
the bullshit problems are there either way. Okay? Human emotional tribalistic bullshit permeates the entire thing either way. So it's a waste of motherfucking time to go back and forth on that. People who are determined to believe it's flat and circular are going to believe it no matter motherfucking what. People who are determined to stick with the spherical globe understanding, they're determined to stick with that and they're going to stick with it. It's just whatever. And those who are malleable to shift their views either way, they're going to remain malleable to shift their views upon better evidence either way. Okay? Same thing with the nukes being real or not real or whatever the fuck. The point is, We've got a bunch of psychopathic nut jobs running the motherfucking planet. Either way, whether it's flat and circular or spherical. Okay? They're the ones with the gigantic motherfucking explosives, whether they're nuclear or not. The problem's the motherfucking same. But no, you'd rather sit there and go on a two-hour, three-hour-long tangent about trying to verify and prove why nuclear weapons aren't actually real things. Okay. Sure. Have fun with that. Or sit there going on this huge, gigantic, long tangent about how gigantic, flat fucking parking lots and monocrops that fill huge amounts of fucking land covering millions of fucking acres isn't fucking climate change. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Have fun with that. How cities filling the entire fucking world aren't climate change somehow. Oh no, you can build a gazillion cities. In fact, you could fill the entire planet with cities everywhere and it still wouldn't be climate change. Nope. Millions and millions of motherfucking acres of concrete and just shit being blasted up into the air from every which direction, every which way. Isn't climate change. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's, that's what you're going to spend your time focusing on. Okay. I got you. I see how it is. I'm going to go on two or three hour long tangents about how transgenderism or people being transgender is such a big fucking issue or big fucking problem. People got their heads so far up their own fucking asses. It's like nobody's fucking business, man. It's just. They got their heads so far up their fucking asses, you got to take a fucking vice grip just to pull them out, man. I fucking use chains attached to a fucking multi-ton vehicle just to pull their head out of their ass, you know? You know what I mean? The problems are fucking obvious. The issue is we have a nervous system that's able to feel torturous degrees of pain. That's a possibility. That's the problem. That needs to be fixed and solved in a guaranteed fucking fashion here and now in this motherfucking world. And then we can fucking start going on and squabbling about and fixating on all these afterlife things. Yeah, we can do that while we're working on the tech here for fuck's sake. Why only do one or the other? That's stupid. Do both. While we're talking about all the possibilities of the life beyond this one and what we want and what we desire for ourselves and all these other types of things, let's be working on technology to fix this shit as we're doing it. Let's focus on what we can guarantee for certain while we're speculating on what we hope to be true that we can only confirm after death. You know? So humans will never, ever, ever, ever solve anything at scale, large scale, and mass, period. Period. Humans have not evolved, adapted, developed, shifted, gotten to a point where they've gotten past human emotional tribalism. They have not gotten past it. They will not get past it. They cannot get past it. They're too emotional combined with being too self-aware which is a terrible fucking mixture. It's a terrible mixture 
when it comes to the tribalism part attached to it. Okay. Because they enter into a physiological mode where they are incapable of at scale, large scale, achieving anything at scale, large scale, that's beneficial, lasting and positive with a huge number of other humans, large scale, lasting with other humans. Okay. Large scale and lasting with other humans. Prove me wrong. Find one case throughout the entire world where a massive motherfucking problem has actually been solved. Of the problems I've talked about, large-scale, lasting, at scale. Outside of a technological solution. Name one. One instance. Guess what? You can't name any because the only solutions that have ever arisen have been directly technological motherfucking solutions. Independent of humans' emotional tribalism. Okay? It's been the technology in and of itself that solved anything. Period. So we got these people living in la-la fantasy land that believe, oh no, somehow at some point... Humans, we ourselves will organically solve this, these issues of our human emotional tribalism, which is the problem. At some, we'll just figure it out somehow, some way, large scale, at scale, long lasting. And somehow at some point it will be something other than technology that solves our problems. When it's only been technology the entire motherfucking time that has solved anything, large scale, at scale, long lasting. Okay? Cars, for example, is one of them. Toilets are another one. Plumbing, internal plumbing, electricity, right? What are these? These are technologies, guns, gunpowder, okay? You go further back, steel, bronze, refined stone tools before that, okay? Refined methods of making fire reliably, fire by friction, fire by sparks, okay? Technology, that's the fucking solution. The human emotional tribalism has been existing with all these technologies developing the whole time. The tribalism has never been solved. We've never gotten past the human emotional tribalistic bullshit, ever. The only thing that's ever solved anything has been technology, for fuck's sake, ever. And minus the technology, it's a shit show, okay? So fuck, man. No, people will never learn, ever, ever. They don't learn because they're a species that is doomed, doomed to extinction sooner than later. Due to the emotionally tribalistic bullshit that's in the fucking DNA of the species, okay? In the phys fucking physiology, for fuck's sake. It's ridiculous. And those of us who see it and recognize it and see that it's a problem, and can admit that it's an issue in ourselves and others whenever or wherever it arises, there's too few of us. There's not enough of us. Too little, too late, not enough. You see? And this has been the problem all throughout the entirety of the human species. There's too few of us, it's too little, and it's too late. Always. All of these things could have been solved if the entire fucking population of humans, or at least the majority of them at scale, thought like us. We're polymaths in nature, and that's what they were. These wouldn't have been issues. If, if the human species was filled with fucking polymaths every motherfucking where, these things would not have ever arisen as an issue. The problem is, the majority of the human species is dumb, low IQ, massively emotionally tribalistic to really stupid fucking degrees. And at the same time, unwilling to admit it, unwilling to recognize it, can't even see it when it arises, when it pops up in them, don't even know what to look for, for fuck's sake. Chronic, constant denial against this, okay? Never admitting their own evil or the scope of it. 
and incapable of doing so. So don't sit there being frustrated unnecessarily. Just know what the reality is so that you can streamline your own polymathery and achieve all the fucking cool ass shit, small scale, that can benefit you and those close to you, small scale, nomadically, transportably, in ways that will benefit you directly and your small group that's close to you. Okay? Your posse. And focus on that scale of things, and you will shine in this world as a polymath. Small scale, small, teeny little group, you and maybe a few others. All the things and all the knowledge that will benefit you in a long-term, transportable, efficiently movable, streamlined way. Okay? Because small-scale, streamlined, transportable, that is the future, that was the past, that's the now, that's reality. That's how you get anything done as soon as you try to expand into large-scale and mass, all these other solutions, any large-scale anything, then things start to fucking fall apart. Because as a human, by design, by physiological construction, your construction was built to achieve things small scale. Okay? Anything that's lasting or solid or reliable. We were not physiologically built to achieve things large scale outside of technology that are lasting and have any degree of solid permanence to them. Only technology has done that, okay? And our behaviors in correlation with the existence of that technology. Otherwise, it doesn't occur, okay? And it's so easy to observe. You can fucking see it. You get a large enough group of people together long enough, and what happens? What always motherfucking happens? They always start squabbling and disagreeing and clashing and ego tripping and this and that and the other. And then you have the other idiots trying to do the overly neutral thing. Oh, let's just all work it out and make it happen and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And then you have the polymaths in the corner doing their own thing 100%, never able to get much done large scale at all, too little, too late all the time, because nobody on any side are listening to them ever. Not the idiots over there, not the idiots over there, not the smart dumbasses over there. Not the overly neutral idiots over here. None of them. And you're just sitting here seeing the full scope of the whole picture the whole fucking time and being like, okay, here is the solution. There's only one solution to it. It's a technological one. And all you dumbasses are just being like, no, 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 no. We can figure it out some other way outside from technology. And you're like, bullshit. Fuck you. You idiots. No, you can't. That's never been the case throughout the entirety of human civilization. Okay. Technology is what solves and fixes shit. If anything, and along with it comes a bunch of horrific side effects as well. Because technology goes into what first? Weapons. Always it goes into weapons first. Why? Because humans need weapons first and foremost, because we live in a world that's a fucking hellscape full of a bunch of psychotic motherfuckers everywhere. So of course you need technology to function as a weapon first. Duh. And then it goes into all these other more peaceful functions, etc. Peaceful, quote unquote, because everything, every act, every technology, everything that goes on is just some masked form of violence. And certain forms of violence are just masked better than others. There's no such thing as peace. <laughs> okay? It's just sadism or obliviousness to that sadism. As what people class as peace, right? So everybody having a quaint little town, you know, eating at the ice cream parlor, you know, talking on the bench, nice, calm day, birds chirping and stuff. Well, how did you get to the point of having that town or city or village built in the first fucking place? Well, you plowed over fucking nature to have it built. That's how. How'd you have that business standing there instead of another business? Well, you implanted yourself in that spot so that another business or another person couldn't have plant themselves in that spot instead, right? You took it over. You might have done it with a smiling face and exchanges of money, but that's what you did. You took the place over, okay? 
So it's your stomping ground now. There's nothing peaceful about any of it, folks. There's just the facade of peace to keep the consciousnesses and the sentiences engaging in it oblivious to their own sadism that they are engaging in. Okay? While the cows that the milk got from to bring into the ice cream parlor, screaming in agony as they're being milked to death and then their throats are being slit and slain, and they are being slain in torturous ways to feed the tables of dumbasses and sick motherfuckers who end up being content creators who post that shit online for everybody to see. You feel me? And then these same fucking dumbass content creators deny that they're evil motherfuckers when they so obviously are. You just want to shake them and be like, you're an evil piece of shit. As am I. You're just not willing to admit it, you motherfucker. So fuck you for that reason. You hypocritical, in denial fuckhead. Right? God damn it, man. You get all these people everywhere saying they're empaths and shit like this. Oh, I'm so empathic. I get, motherfucker. The, the number of times I've heard people call themselves empaths who then end up being the most nasty, emotionally tribalistic, non-intuitive, asinine, assumptive jerkwads. It's just unbelievable. So all these people going on and on about how empathic and shit they are. They tend to be the least empathic fucking people in action that I've seen more often than not, actually. And they can't even motherfucking see it. You know? They need to go on and on about this empath thing because they're needing to mask the fact that they're not actually fucking empathic is what it is. As if others can't notice their lack of empathy, right? So just be empathic, but don't claim you're an empath. How about that? But that is a topic for another day. Another pointless side topic, because the fact of the matter is, you either merge with transhumanist tech as it goes on, as time goes on, or you don't. You either solve things in a guaranteed for sure fashion, or you don't. And you focus on actually achieving beneficial, pleasurable things on a large scale at scale with other people as a team, or you don't. Okay? Because here's how it goes. When you call out someone for starting to focus on a pointless sidetracked thing that's unnecessary for them to focus on, then they kick in, they get all defensive, they get all emotionally tribalistic, ah, and then they get all pissy and pissy and pissy, and then they don't even realize they're doing the emotionally tribalistic thing that you just motherfucking talked about to their face for hours, and they shook their head and nodded and agreed with you for hours about it. And then the next day you talk to them, boom, they're doing exactly what they agreed with you was the dumbass bullshit thing and the pattern that other humans do all the time. And then they sit there denying that they're doing it. Like, who else does? Every other mucking motherfucking human that they're pointing the finger at. Do you see why I'm looking forward to AI? More so than the continuation of human bullshit? That's why. That's the reason. Because at least with AI, there's going to be some form of fucking consistency and being able to get shit done on a large scale at scale. Sure as hell, more than you can ever achieve with humans. That's for fuck sure. Even if it's still relatively small scale, it'll still be bigger scale than what you can do with human beings. And we've already seen that with the internet online. You already see it now at play in our channels existing in the first fucking place. You know? That's an achievement right there of AI, of intelligence, of information exchange other than just humans that you achieve something beyond what humans can achieve. Already. Once again, technology yet again. This is only a tone I have in this video. 
my life is actually quite fulfilling and I feel quite happy in my own life. This is just a tone I'm using for this particular video. Let me repeat it again and again and again and again because it doesn't seem to sink in. People seem to assume that my tonation in a video equals how I personally am feeling about my own individual life in life and my experiences. It is not. It's my observation of the unnecessary pointless stupidity of others' behavior that doesn't need to be there. My own experience, how I go about life, is quite positive, uplifting, and wonderful. The people treat me personally to my face in my face-to-face day-to-day life quite well. The women in my life treat me very well, and I enjoy being around them. The friends I have treat me very well, and I enjoy being around them. My own life is quite a good experience. Okay? Beyond what you might assume as a hyper-intuitive, empathic, shining-souled being that you may think you are, in regards to my tonations in this particular one video out of my hundreds of videos on all sorts of different motherfucking topics, many of them quite positive and uplifting, and in different tonation. So that's the other thing. Humans get hung up on tonations and how things are relayed. Versus what is being relayed. People diagnosed on the autism spectrum tend to overall, as a whole, be better at bypassing tonations for the most part. Especially males diagnosed on the spectrum. For the most part, in most cases. Because they focus more on topics themselves beyond tonations, etc. And they pick up on why the tonations are there and the purpose thereof without it needing to be explained as it does with neurotypicals and many neurodivergents who are not specifically diagnosed on the spectrum, etc., etc. But once again, that's another side topic. The point being is that my tonations, how I come across in videos, is not a reflection of how I personally actually feel about my own life and how good it is. It is not a reflection of that, and if you think it is, you're an assumptive dumbass who has missed the entire point of this video and has proven my point about why humans everywhere, large scale and mass, are the problem with their emotionally tribalistic bullshit and their assumptive stupidity. Okay? If you can't pick up on me beyond my tonations in my videos and get the gist and essence of what I'm getting at, and if you remain hung up on all these little side points that I brought up in this video as your focus, you're a living example of exactly the problem that I keep talking about over and over and over again. So stop being, don't be, refuse to be a contributor to that problem. Focus on what's actually important, legitimate, and worth actually discussing. And if there's a disagreement, focus on actually achieving something together with me as a team to actually solve something that is solvable and worth solving. Knowing full well that it can only be done technologically or with efficient use of already existing technology, more efficient use of currently existing technology, etc. Okay? So you can either do that, you can do that, or you can just keep going on and on with the human emotional tribalistic bullshit like everybody else does all the motherfucking time and just keep at it. Just keep doing it until you go extinct, right? One or the other. So the choice is yours. You can decide how you want to go about things and how you want to live your life. So on and so forth. Okay. And with that, I will talk to you soon in various different tonations. PP signing out and plunging in and out many times over. I will talk to you later. Have a good one.